Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how you can simplify fractions. All of these fractions are equivalent or equal. Simplifying a fraction means that you're finding the smallest numerator and denominator possible that is equivalent to your fraction. And if you look at these fractions, you can tell that they're equivalent. Well, you can cross multiply. 8 times 5 is 40 and 10 times 4 is 40. Two times four is eight, and one times eight is eight, and they're all equivalent. You can see that, but if you didn't have the pictures, that's one way to find out if they're equivalent. The one that's simplified is one half because it has the smallest numerator and denominator. Just to confuse you, we call simplifying a fraction by other names. Simplifying can be exactly the same as finding it in lowest terms or reducing a fraction. These things all mean the same thing. And there's more than one way to simplify a fraction. The way that I see most people do it is that they look at this number, 6 eighths, and they try and find something that goes into both of them. And it's easy to see that they can both be divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2, I mean 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, and then I can see that 3 fourths is simplified. But look at the bottom fraction. That one's not so easy to figure out what evenly goes into both of them, especially if you had this, and maybe this. It becomes more and more difficult. So this is the way I show my students how to simplify a fraction. I use four magic numbers, two, three, five, and seven. You can simplify almost all fractions with those four magic numbers. Now, I do see the question mark at the end, and I'm gonna explain what that is. But for right now, let's focus on two, three, five, and seven. You can divide a number by two if the number is even. If the number ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, we are even and we're great. It's an even number and you can use the magic number 2. You can divide a number by 3 if the, the number is in the 3 song. Let's say 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Then it's divisible by 3. Or if the number's bigger than the numbers in the song, you can add the digits up in the number and see if this, the sum is in the three song. Here's an example. Let's say you had the number 123. If you add them up, the digits, you would get six. And if you sing the three song, three, six, yep, six is in the three song, so I know that that number is divisible by three. You can divide a number by five if a number ends in a five or a zero. You can divide a number by seven if the number is in the seven song, but if the number is bigger than the seven song, you just have to divide. We're gonna practice some of this with these fractions. I'm gonna try the fraction 18 24 And this is what I do. I put it in an upside down staircase. I put my numerator first, and my denominator second. Okay, I look at the numbers and I see that they're both even. So I'm gonna use the magic number two. Two goes into 18 nine times, two goes into 24 12 times. But I'm not done. I'm gonna see if I can go down again. Well, I look at two and I know I can't use two because they're both not even. So I go and I look at three. Well, if I sing the three song, Three, six, nine. It takes three fingers to get to nine. And three goes into 12 four times. I'm gonna see if I can go down another step. They're not both even, so I can't use two. Three is in the three song, but four isn't. And five and seven are both bigger than those numbers. So I know I'm simplified, and it simplifies to three fourths.
that's the correct answer. Okay, now I'm going to try it with this number. I'm going to put it in an upside down staircase. There's my numerator and here's my denominator. And I'm going to run it through the magic numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7. Well, they're both not even, so I can't use 2. If I sing the 3 song, 14 is not in it. If I go to 5, both of these numbers do not end in 5 or 0, so I can't use 5, but I can use 7. If I sing the 7 song, it takes me two fingers to get to 14. If I sing the 7 song, it takes me five fingers to get to 35. And now I'm going to see if I can go down again. Well, they're both not even, so I can't use 2. And 3, 5, and 7 are all bigger than 2, so I know that this is simplified with two fists. Let's try another one. If you have 15 40 fifths, I'm going to put it in an upside down staircase. And I look at it and I can see that they both end in a 5. So I'm going to divide by 5. 5 goes into 15 three times. 5 goes into 45 nine times. Let me see if I can go down another step. Well, I can't use two because they're not both even, but three would work. Three goes into three one time, and three goes into nine three times. One is smaller than all of the magic numbers, so I know this simplifies to one-third. Let's try another one. Twelve eighteenths. I put it in an upside down staircase. They're both even, so I'm going to divide by two. Six and nine. Let's see if I can go down again. They're not even, so I'm going to skip two. But I can divide them both by three, so I'm going to put the magic number there. Three goes into six two times, and three goes into nine three times. Well, they're both not even, so I can't use 2, and all the other magic numbers are bigger than 2, so this simplifies to 2 thirds. And the last thing I'm going to do is show you about that question mark. Let's look at this fraction, 11 over 22. If you put it in an upside down staircase, you can run it through 2, 3, 5, and 7 and none of those numbers will go into it, but it's not simplified. The magic number, this one right here, is the smallest of the two numbers in the staircase. So the smallest is 11, and I'm gonna see if I can divide both of them by 11. 11 goes into 11 once, 11 goes into 22 twice. This simplifies to one half. Good job.